after all, now that's a word I have a history with. In the first six hours after your last drink, you may experience mild symptoms that include nausea, vomiting, shakiness, sweating, feeling tense, edgy, or worried. Depending on how much you drink, confusion, paranoia, and hallucinations are a strong probability. And if you're some real unlucky bastard, seizures can also happen. But don't worry, kids. This isn't my first time at the rodeo. I've been to rehab once, but that was back when I had insurance. I'm a YouTuber with 24 subscribers now. What kind of benefits do you think I'd get? I can handle the symptoms on my own. Marijuana helps, but it's more like good company versus any kind of relief. In the end, it's the bad memories that always get me. Have you ever heard someone talk about a family member who's an alcoholic and how much pain that has caused them? Whether it's been because of abuse or just the simple agony of watching someone you love kill themselves slowly? Yeah, well... It isn't necessarily the things I did that haunt me in these moments of withdrawal. Sure, I live with great remorse, but I'm plagued more so by the broken eyes and echoing tears of those I hurt when they finally saw what I had become. The most painful part to accept is how nothing between us will ever be the same again. If you're asking yourself, what could good old Ganj Rust back do that's so bad? I mean, he was just playing Hello Kitty in the last vid. He's being too hard on himself. Well, I'm not gonna go into details, but here are some key words from these hellish flashbacks. Self-harm, blood everywhere, soaked panties, count negative, heroin, meth, cocaine, crushed up pills, enough booze to put down a horse, my best friends, my dead friend, my parents, my brothers, my ex-fiance, his brother, her sister, his mother, punch to my face, a punch to his face, cheating, stealing, Thanksgiving, Christmas, graduation, our anniversary, her birthday, his death day. I think you got the picture. Booze or no booze. I'm either a poisoned hero or a sleeping villain. Metroid 2, Return to Samus. A sequel in a franchise known for themes of claustrophobic platforming, with early elements of survival horror. You play as Samus Aran, a badass bitch in this high-tech suit eradicating Metroids. Not really sure what a Metroid is, but it's a monster of sorts and you have to kill like 40 of them. Each of these games always ends with the space station you're on initiating a self-destruct sequence, and you have to escape before the place blows. Let's just say, my body is the space station, and my soul is Samus Aran. If I make it past these explosive memories, then maybe, just maybe, I can leave this station of life alive. <laughs>